Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino, inviting you to explore the curiosity, if not pleasure, of completely incompetent design. And what I am talking about is the ISA 8-XP-01 expansion board, this little blue piece of trash here, that is being sold to a company the book 8088 version 1, beautiful Anxuna Moon here, which does not have, by nature, a serial port. And what this thing is advertised as is that it will provide to you ISA slots in which you can put ISA cards so that, for instance, you drive a mouse, a serial port, and so on and so forth. Let me show you how that goes. That's a genuine Microsoft mouse which is without any discussion recognized in the book 88 version 2 on its native COM port, so this just works. And here it does not. I tried with multiple cards and with multiple boards. So you see there is one expansion board for the book 8088 here, and there is another expansion board there and neither work. And I changed cables and I changed cards and I changed mice. I am here with the trusty genius mouse, which is working wonderfully and which is actually factory new. It's new old stock. And here you see now it's going to the mouse driver and we're gonna get Driver not installed, Microsoft mouse not found. So this mouse connected to this expansion board over here is not found. Let me do things perhaps this way so that you're seeing things a little better. Okay, so this is just not working. And that is with the genuine Microsoft mouse driver. I'm now going to try also Frido's cute mouse driver, which is CT mouse. CT mouse is gonna give us, I'm gonna press even the button so that it notices something is happening. Error, device not found. So no CT mouse and this thing is completely useless. Now, I was also considering to use the expansion board perhaps for serial communications in order to drive a modem. Yeah, that was the plan, the plan that failed. But it turns out that this wonderful serial port which it is providing is receive only. I don't know how they made a receive only port given that the card is evidently send and receive and it's a working card, but we are having indeed a receive only port. Oh cool, I have black, red and yellow wires. This is gonna be a very German connection. Okay, so black. Uh, a red. And gold. Okay, the German connection has been established, it's crossover, so he is black, yellow, red, he is black, red, yellow. And we are connected over RS-232 to a smartphone which is able to communicate via this adapter. Like, tested and working, changed also the wire uh, once, just in case anything was with the wire. I think I just wasted the good wire there because the wire was just fine. And now let's go to the Connex software. This is a sort of serial terminal emulator. Very small, very cute, very operational. Here we go. Now if I type here something like Hello Dear Viewers Then we're going to get LOD of viewers because the general competency of this thing is just the same, namely 
the first letter is shifted and so it is, it vanishes. But you see that it appears in general. If I would just keyboard mash over here with the attempt to send it back. Oh, cool. Uh, now it um, turned off entirely. Uh, what, what, what did I do? How did I keyboard mash that this happened? Okay, let me reboot it and just return to the place where we were. So, on we go. Let's try this F7 thing to get it to mode 80. Mode 80. Ah, finally. I got a column prompt here, don't be surprised. It's just to save space on the screen. So I'm going to go to Connex again. Start Connex. And here we are. Again. Gain. Ah, God, this is like, it's just frustrating. But no matter what I do, I'm typing, typing, typing here. Yeah, typing, typing. Nothing appears on the phone screen. So, well, I'm having a correct crossover connection and I can tell this isn't doing a thing. Okay, so unidirectional receive only on the serial card no notice of the mouse and that is the same for both models of the expansion card like they're by the way two slightly different models i should also show you that detail let's turn this off first because it is just not working and i think i proved that enough please note the different count of the large capacitors on this side. So the one has three capacitors, the other one has four. Yeah, they're both called the same. Of course, regarding the jack, you know, the plug-in jack here, there's not, there is not a trifle of information where and how the 12 volt are supposedly connected. Right? Like, neither on this card, nor on that one. My god, it would have cost too much ink to show a spark of competency and write that down anywhere. No, we will just sell you trash just like that. Doesn't matter because the trash is dysfunctional anyway, right? Okay, so what happened actually with this card? Hmm? Yeah, right, that's an interesting question. So, I tried with center negative. This is from an adapter of adjustable voltage. I set the whole thing to 12 volt, you know, and I tried center negative and the whole thing went down. It started to make like uh, buzzing sounds and display went off. So this was evidently short circuiting it. I very quickly pulled it out and reversed it to center positive. You, you, can you guess what happened? I heard a loud popping sound and something on a serial card just popped. So that much for the usability of the ISA expansion port, the famous ISA expansion port of the book 8088. Such dysfunctional garbage I really haven't seen for a very long time and if you want to hear my advice on whether to purchase the one or the other in the hope of driving a serial port, a modem or a mouse, the, advan the advice is very clearly do not waste your money. And with that, thank you very much for having been here today. Hope to greet you here soon again for, well, other adventures. <laughs> If you're not a member of our friendly little community, I would be more than pleased if you were to consider it. Thank you again for watching. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time.
and from me, goodbye.